How do I hide the chat? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you turn that off. We don't need to see that right now. Also, the like to dislike ratio is pretty good. I'm feeling good about that. If you guys didn't know, there's a new Sims 4 expansion pack being announced today. Well, they announced it yesterday, but the trailer's coming out today. The official reveal trailer premieres in like a minute. The Sims 4 Snowy Escape appears to be set in Japan. Mountains? Snowy activities? You all know I've been saying this forever. Like, the next world that I want is a mountain world. I've like, every time somebody asks, like, Kayla, what do you want for the Sims 4? Like, what worlds do you want? And like, a mountain? <laughs> Please, can I have a mountain? And it looks like that's what we're gonna get. I'm setting expectations right now though. This is just a reveal trailer. Probably gonna be like one or two minutes long. Just gonna have some fun music and like exciting footage of the pack. Maybe a blog post will come out today with some more information, but we aren't really gonna know all that much about it until the gameplay trailer comes out. And that'll be like a talking trailer and they'll kind of go through the features and stuff like that. So that's what I'm excited about. So we have that to look forward to. I'm trying to think back to like past releases and, and guess when that'll come out. Maybe it'll be next week. So they do like this Tuesday launch trailer and the next Tuesday gameplay trailer. Anybody remember? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is just an exciting time. But anyway, I think that this is the pack that I've been most excited about in a long time. Like expansion pack wise. Oh, something changed. Ah, <laughs> it's counting down. Help. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. I don't actually know how loud to make it. I'm just, I'm risking the copyright. I'm playing the music. I don't even care. How is that? That's too loud. I'm so nervous. Also, I feel so sick today. I rolled out of bed like 20 minutes ago to get ready to record this, like threw on some mascara, but my head has been hurting so bad since like 5 a.m. I woke up because my head was hurting so bad and then I couldn't fall back asleep because I was in so much pain and like I felt nauseous because my head was hurting so bad and I just, I'm not having a good day. <laughs> Hopefully this will help <laughs> because I'm really excited. The title being coming soon. Sneak a peek at the next pack really excites me. Like sneak a peek. Mountains. <laughs> Get it? I'm sorry. I need I need jokes right now. The last few trailers, um, well, you know how that's gone. You were there. Eco lifestyle, Star Wars. <laughs> I shouldn't even mention Star Wars, but people have not really had the most um, excited reactions to new packs. And frankly, it causes me a lot of stress and anxiety. Like I hate all the negativity because criticism is valid, but like seeing everyone being so like rage filled causes me a lot of stress. <laughs> it like makes me nervous. I'm stop. It's starting. Ah! ah. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, oh. Do you have a bunny hat on? Oh my God. All right, that was a cool transition. I'm gonna be honest. Chase your thrills. Oh. Mountain climbing? No way. really excited about this. Ew, okay, maybe not about that. That was a bug, not into that. We're gonna have to watch this back. <laughs> We're gonna need to rewatch this and, and point out things. The vending machines too. Oh, November 13th? Ah, that's so soon. Okay, is this blog post up yet? Sometimes it like isn't up and ready by the time that the trailer finishes, <laughs> but it looks like it is. Hope you have your ski boots and cold weather gear. The Sims 4 Snowy Escape expansion pack is sending a chill through the air on November 13th, 2020. We're heading to the Japanese inspired world of Mount Komoribi. Komoribi? Kom mm. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna need to do some research <laughs> because I'm not entirely certain how to pronounce it and I don't wanna butcher it. Komoribi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful name. Hopefully this video is right. Imagine the video is wrong and then like, anyway. <laughs> Mount Komorebi, where high energy sports and relaxing slow experiences, that probably is meant to say snow experiences, <laughs> where relaxing, oh, maybe it is relaxing slow experiences. I, I guess you wouldn't really have relaxing snow experience. I don't know, whatever. Present a, an array of new lifestyles to choose from. See you at the mountaintop simmers. Oh, I love reading the, this is always the best part. I know it sounds super lame, but I always get so excited about blog posts because this has more information than the trailer. Cause you watch the trailer and you're like, okay, that was pretty. Like I, I quite enjoyed seeing, oh, the trailer's only like a minute long, yeah. Like, I love seeing the world. This looks amazing. I mean, look at this. <laughs> but this doesn't really mean anything, you know? It's it's when 
when you start reading this that you actually find out what's gonna come. Breathe in that fresh mountain air and start working on your sims rock climbing, skiing, and snowboarding skills. They'll want to level up if they ever intend to explore anything bigger than the easy practice courses. Once they've gotten the hang of it, take the gondola up to the bigger ski runs and the climbing routes to the peak. Even wipeouts look cool up there, probably. <laughs> But when sims get really good, show off with a light up board and the- <gasps> And the cheekiest snow gear is not just for adults either. Children can ski and snowboard on the less challenging trails while parents take their toddlers sledding! <gasps> oh, I was not anticipating that. <laughs> then, yes. Toddlers can go sledding! If your sim crashed a few too many times and they need to recover, lean into the slower parts of life. Hit up the onsen bathhouse to soak your sim's problems and injuries away. Is there anything better than watching the steam rise into the cold night above after a long day? We didn't think so. Even the hiking trails just outside of town offer something new every time. Explore bamboo forests, pause to reflect at the graveyard, or visit the mountain temple with friends to get the full experience. Do remember to dress appropriately though, depending on where you are, it sure can get cold here. Rent one of the vacation lots or build your own home. So there's both. So it's like a residential world, but also has some vacation lots. That's the first time they've done that. In the past, we've had like vacation worlds that are separate that you can't live in. But in this one, you can rent a vacation lot, just stay here, or build your own home, which leads me to believe that they're gonna add an update, obviously, so that you can build vacation lots anywhere. So ideally with this pack, or hopefully the update that comes with the pack, you could like build a vacation lot in Oasis Springs or whatever, because they're adding that capability now. Or in Sulani if you wanted to. I know a lot of us wanted that back then. Find inspiration all around town for your next project, whatever it is. New features, <gasps> new features like shoji doors, tile roofs, and tatami mats lean into the Japanese inspiration behind the pack. And going forward, you can also start playing with customizable platforms. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna need to- I'm gonna need to see some more footage, please. <laughs> but that's not all. Fill your home with both modern and traditional furniture options, and make sure to add a cozy kotatsu table for group meals like hot pot. Outside, enjoy the harmony of this peaceful mountain environment. Add koi to your decorative fountains and start a rock garden under the shade of Japanese maple trees, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Okay, this pack looks really really cool. I love the inspiration behind the world. I love the gameplay of the pack. All the build items look awesome. Let's rewatch the trailer muted and like pause a little bit when we feel the need to. If I refresh, will it get rid of that beginning of the video? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Oh, the dislike like ratio. That's good. 19k? The Sims is back, boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've had, um, usually this is the opposite. The past couple packs, you know, 243 likes and 19k dislikes. Um, anyway, let's watch this back. <laughs> this is where we can actually, like, point things out. The animations look awesome. I think I'm really excited to watch, like, the wipeouts in-game. Like, that's gonna be hilarious. The sledding looks so fun. Oh, look at this. Okay, for the record, they did confirm on Twitter that you don't need seasons to play this pack, obviously, why would you? And I saw a lot of people complaining about that. They're like, oh, so they're adding winter stuff, but we already have seasons. Why didn't you do it with seasons? But here's my take on that. Every world has weather <laughs> and like a climate. I mean, if you look at Oasis Springs or like Sulani, those would be hot places, right? They're just doing the opposite with a cold place that happens to have snow. And if they had done this, these things with seasons, we wouldn't have gotten nearly the same number Number of winter activities. You wouldn't have gotten a world. I mean, Seasons is already jam-packed. Seasons is a huge pack. Like, this- this doesn't- they're not the same. <laughs> I simply do not compute that comparison. Like, this has nothing to do with Seasons. Just because it's cold doesn't mean it has anything to do with Seasons. And again, like, this isn't taking away from anything. Like, you're not- I don't- whatever. Look at how good the world looks with the mountain in the background. I'm- this is stunning. And all the trees. I'm so excited about the new roof items. Like, look at these windows and stuff. Like, <sighs> This looks great. And this, like the walking trails, I guess. And like the Sims are on this curved bridge. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at, oh, I'm so happy. All the outfits too. Like I, look at her shirt. That looks great. And her, wait, I didn't even notice the hair. <laughs> wait, that one has clips in it. Oh, I skipped too far back. Sorry, sorry. This one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. And that transition I can't get over. The way the boy went up with his arm and then it flipped to the sled. Oh, I wanna go sledding. I live in Florida. <laughs> Frankly, this is the complete opposite of Florida. Mountains, cold. I live in a flat, hot place. Flat, hot, miserable place. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun pack to come out in the winter time. I'm really, really excited about this. Oh, that's the light up board they were talking about. That looks awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's a new death. Imagine if you could die like in the snow. That's morbid, isn't it? You probably shouldn't. That's bad. We probably shouldn't do that. Or if you could like fall off the rock climbing wall and die. I shouldn't say rock climbing wall. It's obviously, it's a mountain. It's not a climbing wall. It's a mountain. <laughs> if you fall off the mountain and die. Oh, oh my God. Honestly, missed opportunity. They wouldn't have done that. That's way too morbid. Although to be fair, 
You can get eaten by flies and like poisoned to death. So maybe falling off a mountain isn't that morbid. Any death is morbid. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cool this is! And like the mountain climbing gear and stuff. Oh. So this I assume is the onsen bathhouse. You can see they have this hot springs here. That's so cool! I keep trying to pause and like look at the items and stuff. Like all their outfits look so good. That transition was great too. Honestly, the Sims team, whoever makes their trailers, they do a really good job. Look at how beautiful this is. That less beautiful. I'm not into that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no bugs, please. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Sorry, I just I keep catching myself like staring at the background. I just want I want to live here. Create your sanctuary. <laughs> oh, and all the snow. Wait, 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 back up. I want to look at those counters. No, 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 I went this. It's too fast. Oh, you can put actual clutter items in them. Look at that, all the books and stuff. Like that's like a cookie jar and tissues and plates. Okay. Oh, and that stove doesn't have a back to it. Okay, so you know how usually all the stoves in The Sims have backs to them? Like there would be like a panel of like all the controls up kind of raised at the back. This stove is flat at the back. So you could put that stove like in an island and it would fit because it's not raised. I'm just saying. Look at that new fireplace too. Oh, this is great. I'm so excited about, I keep saying that, but this is like the most excited I've been about a new pack in so long. November 13th, 24 days, 24 days. Okay. <laughs> By the way, they did clarify just to confirm that you do not need seasons to play with this pack. Also, I'm just now realizing, obviously I'm not logging into Twitter right now, but like Simguru Frost is the community manager Manager, and his name has been like still redacted Guru Frost for like months. I feel like it's because of this <laughs> The Frost duh, that's so funny. Also, um, in case you miss this. I'm just I'm just throwing this out there um. <laughs> Okay, anyway <laughs> I will of course link this trailer and also the blog post down below if you want to reread it in case you missed anything I said. A Japanese inspired mountain town. This is so fun because they had that survey. What did I call it? Was it like, did I title it about babies or something? Oh, this is not helpful. Oh, this is maybe it. Babies may finally get the update they deserve in The Sims 4. Here I am contributing to rumors. That wasn't even true. This survey. Oh, is this a different one? This was like, there was, what was that survey in January? This is in April. Little Sim, oh, this one. New winter pack for The Sims nine months ago. They full on just told us this nine months ago months ago. Like they weren't even kidding. This I'll link this video because you you should watch this if you haven't seen it already. This was a survey they did and it was like about potential features. And they basically asked us like if we did a mountain pack, like what would you want? Downhill skiing, ice skating on a pond, cross country skiing, snowmobiling, snowboarding, ice fishing. Like they just they flat out just asked us what would you want in this pack? And we were all like, "Oh, this is a fun concept." Little did we know they were like full on working on it at the time and just asking us for what we wanted. I don't even know what I picked. Let's 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 skip ahead and see where I I mark things. Mountain climbing, sledding, snowboarding, skiing. Okay. <laughs> Sounds about right. I imagine that like everybody picked those things. I'd love to go back and watch this and like hear what I said about it, you know? Cause I know, I know for a fact back then I was like, please God, I want a mountain town. Please, this is the best. I want this so bad. <laughs> and now look at us. Sorry, I did miss something. Whole other blog post page. <laughs> I read the blog. There's also like an official pack announcement page with more information. So let's go through this. Test your sim's skill and endurance with activities on the mountainside. Grab skis for a downhill ride, strap on a snowboard to shred, or bundle up on a sled with another sim. Prefer going up? Build their rock climbing skill and challenge your sim to reach the mountain peak during daring, sometimes dangerous excursions. Please, can I fall off a mountain? Sorry. <laughs> Let your Sims worries float away in the natural hot springs, then unwind over hot pot around the kotatsu table or socialize while hiking through bamboo forests and snowy terrain. Bask in the serenity of mindful walks and soothing music to take control of your emotions and discover your inner zen. Create your sanctuary. Whether you prefer the traditional details or modern touches of Japanese inspired furniture and decor, you can incorporate shoji doors, windows, and screens, tatami mats, and more to design a home that complements your life. Take your shoes off at the Genkin entrance in the soft glow of paper lanterns overhead or build your own rock garden outside. And I think the most important thing, because a lot of that was like in the trailer and other blog posts, unlock new personality and relationship effects with the introduction of lifestyles and sentiments. Lifestyles manifest in response to your sim's actions and habits, changing their behaviors appropriately. Similarly, shared experiences inspire sentiments and have a lasting impact on sim's relationships to each other, affecting their social interactions. And that's a lot of words. <laughs> But this sort of means that the way your sims behave and interact with people is gonna actually impact them. And that's fascinating. That was also in the survey I showed you, which first of all is really cool that they just flat out asked us like, what do you wanna see? And then made it. But also,
also, I voted for things like this. I'm really, really curious on how this is gonna impact your Sims behavior because things like this, actually having your Sims grow and change, think like in parenthood, they can kind of grow up in different ways. And kind of similar to how celebrities behave and get famous, how like they get quirks. It won't be that shallow, I don't think. Like, oh, you use your phone a lot? You like phones. <laughs> but maybe something similar. I love the idea of that, of your Sims like actually becoming something and having more personality to them. Anyway, this is really cool. In fact, there are quite a few things that have happened this year that, um, you know, we were just, we were so innocent back then. <laughs> We were so naive. Don't worry, past Simsy, you're getting your mountain town and also a pandemic, just for fun. God, if you had mentioned to us that there was going to be a pandemic this year and all of this was going to happen in January, we would have been like, <laughs> that's hilarious, no. How is that even possible? Cut to October. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask. Go watch the Sims trailer back like 10 times because I know I'm going to. I definitely miss things in the trailer. I always do. And then I see it on Twitter and it's like, how did I not see that? <laughs> so if I miss cool things, let me know in the comments. How are you feeling? Are you excited? I, I honestly can say that I am so excited about this one. And on that note, I'm gonna go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I'm gonna go lay down in a dark room now because my head hurts. <laughs>